boys and girls, welcome back to the Vince, aka Vinny. <laughs> it is your boy Vince, aka Vinny. Today we're going to talk about the run pass option or RPO for the Seattle Seahawks. And is that really going to be effective when you face higher ranked teams like the LA Rams or the Kansas City Chiefs? Okay, hopefully you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys in just a sec. Alright guys, so the Seattle Seahawks, if you haven't noticed, they run the ball a lot. Boy, if you don't When I mean a lot, they run it over 50% of the time, which is the highest of any NFL team. Okay. Thing is, they don't have a legendary running back like they did in 2014, 15, a couple years before that. The name was Marshawn Lynch, aka Beast Mode. The guy was pretty good, I'm just gonna say, he kinda trucked everybody he saw. So, there's not really anybody you can replace at that high caliber that quick, unless you get a really good, somehow random draft pick, which the Seahawks did not. And I don't know what the Seahawks have been thinking as they have one of the best run quarterbacks in the NFL in Russell Wilson, who has pro is probably one of the most athletic quarterbacks in the whole NFL. He does not have a strong arm, but he is definitely a playmaker. And I feel like when you run the ball so much and you don't let Russell throw, do what he's meant to do, and that is scramble, get out of the pocket, avoid sacks, you're kind of taking away your very strong point of your football team. We don't have the greatest receiving core in the NFL. Doug Baldwin may be one of the top five receivers in all the NFL. Probably top ten if he's not top five. But other than that, you have Tyra Lockett, which not that many people know of. And so we don't have the greatest receiving core. And I understand why Pete Carroll's a little skeptical of their receiving core. But I don't understand, you don't give them a chance. I just, it, it, I don't understand why Pete is such a run, running coach. He looks at the guy that wants to get those big plays. And I know you were had that mindset looking straight forward, running in between the tackles with Marshawn Lynch in 2014. The only thing is, it's not 2014, it's 2018. You are a different team. You don't have your stellar defense to back you up anymore like you did in 2014 or 2015, even last year with the Legion of Boom. You got rid of Richard Sherman, probably the best corner in the league, maybe Josh Norman. You've got Earl Thomas has been plagued with injuries the past three years. Cam Chancellor, I don't even know what he's doing. Some neck injury that nobody knows of. He's gone. Bobby Wagner's not the same because he doesn't have the playmakers around him. K.J. Wright has barely played a game this year. He's been played with injuries. Michael Bennett's gone. He's gone to the Eagles. He was one of your best playmakers. You don't have Cliff Averill that, like you used to. And you don't have Frank Clark like you used to. All those guys were really good together. They might not have had the best chemistry, but they, they weren't exactly the nicest people. But they played really, really, really good football. And I don't understand... I understand that you lose five of those really good players that were made you the best team in the league for the past three years, or at least top three teams in the league. Then you lose them and you kind of have to like think to yourself, where are we going with this football team? It's, we lost our whole defense. Our offensive line has never been good, even while our team has been good. It's always been the weakest part of our team. You lose Marshawn Lynch, and then he retired, goes to Oakland, and now you're kind of stuck. He threw you under the bridge and doesn't really leave your team with a good backup like most league teams have. And you are stuck with finding guys that are off the practice squad, and you're just trying to get them as many reps as possible to maybe think that they could become a Marshawn Lynch caliber player. Will that happen? Probably not, but you still gotta think 
hey, it's worth a shot, and then let's run the ball over 40 times a game. And I don't really understand that part when you have such a good quarterback in Russell Wilson. And then you have really good players like Doug Baldwin and Tyler Lockett. That is what I don't understand, but other than that, it's pretty much why I don't... Y y the run game is not the best part. I know it's, if you get five yards, you're like, okay, we can get this, we can keep going, but if not, then you're kind of screwed because you're on third down, and then you haven't passed the ball, so you have no clue what you're doing. And then you're kind of left out the dry, and if you make one mistake passing the ball, it's either an interception or fourth down. You kind of ruin your team. And your team's chances to get a first down or score a touchdown or even get a field. That's just where the run game goes. It's a very risky business to be in. Pass, you have three opportunities. The clock stops. Because we control time of possession. That's the thing. You control time of possession with the run game. But if you take 30 seconds to run a play, then you get a yard. It's like you're wasting time that you could use to get a first down to get your team more points. That's what I don't understand. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll be right back with outro. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me today. I know I've been kind of inactive, but other than um, I kind of really haven't had anything to talk about. I mean, the World Series happened, but then I was kind of like, I already told you guys what was going to happen. Why make another video on it? So that's probably, that's why I didn't do it. Um, I currently do not have power, so I, this video will not be up immediately. But other than that... Uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you smack the button in the face. Just go, just, just go, bop. Just smack it really hard. And if you haven't already, also, just, 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 just put the likes. Put, put the like. You like the video. And if you don't, and comment and share. That's really all you got to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and share, guys. Just make sure you get the word out. As we have hit over 100 subscribers now, we have gained a few. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, peace out.